I'm Glenna Tabor, educator and passionate hydroponic farmer. I strongly believe that everyone should have a hydroponic system. <laughs> I truly believe they're needed in every learning environment. That might be a homeschool, that might be a, a classroom, it might be in your kitchen, it might be in your office, it might be in your garage. The learners around you can learn so much about science and so many math concepts that they apply and that they use to make their hydroponic system better and to grow their own food. Let's begin with some of the science concepts in hydroponics. And these are just some of them. The science in hydroponics revolves around understanding the biological, chemical, and physical processes that govern plant growth and nutrient uptake when you're not growing things with soil. Here are some key scientific aspects of the science in hydroponics. One, <laughs> plant physiology. Hydroponics provides an opportunity to study plant physiology in a controlled environment. Students can investigate how plants absorb water and nutrients through their roots and transport them to the rest of the plant. Students can study the mechanisms of nutrient uptake, of transpiration, of photosynthesis, respiration, and hormone regulation in hydroponic systems. Two, nutrient solutions and plant nutrition. Student scientists can analyze the nutrient requirements of various plants and develop formulations that supply the necessary elements in optimal concentrations. They can study the role of macronutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium and micronutrients such as iron and zinc and copper in plant growth and health. Number three, student scientists can study the composition and quality of water used in hydroponics and learn the water chemistry because these have a significant impact on plant growth. Student scientists can analyze the chemical properties of water, such as pH and electrical conductivity, known as EC. They can also investigate the parts per million and the density. Students can investigate how water chemistry affects nutrient availability, nutrient uptake efficiency, and overall plant performance. Four, hydroponics allows for precise control of environmental conditions. So student scientists can study the effects of factors like light intensity, spectrum, and photo period on plant growth and development. They can analyze the impact of temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels on photosynthesis and transpiration and overall plant performance. Is there science in hydroponics? <laughs> I just listed a few. <sighs> what is hydroponics about? It is about science and it is about math and it's about engaging your learners no matter where they are. Give me an A. Give me a B. Give me a D. R. O. Hydroponics. Hydroponics. Happy hydroponics.